How can you make your speech memorable a month, a year, five years after you give your presentation so it still has impact? You're about to discover that in this video for your High Impact Speaking House. In the last video, you discovered the importance of the opening words to hook your audience and grab their attention. Once you have that, it's important that you share a foundational phrase early in your presentation. What's that? It's one sentence that they will remember a month, a year, five years after your talk. It's not just about remembering the words, it's the meaning behind the foundational phrase that you want to stick. In the business world, some of the most famous ads are the ones that we remember for years. If you're old enough to remember Wendy's, you just heard in your mind, where's the beef? Nike, you just heard, just do it. There are many companies who've created these successful foundational lines that stick. You can do the same thing. Crafting your foundational phrase may be the most difficult part of the entire speech writing process. However, once you have this in place, every other part of the speech will fall into place. Again, just like the house, you build the foundation, everything else will be supported by this phrase. The reason it's difficult is because they typically don't just flow out of your mind. You've got to do some thinking, testing, see what works. And there are many factors that go into an effective phrase. In this video, you'll pick up four of the most important. The first is be brief. Our old rule of thumb was that it should be fewer than 10 words. Now we say it should be fewer than eight. Why so little? Because the fewer the words you have, the easier it will be to remember. Many of the most famous ads of all time are three or four words. Two that have been effective for my speeches are sell more with stories and speak to increase your influence and impact. Four and six words. Rule number one, be brief. The second is be benefits based. What does that mean? What benefit will the reader or listener take away from your presentation? My first speech, sell more with stories. People are going to sell more. In the second, you will increase your influence and impact. It's a specific benefit that people will receive if they listen to your presentation and take action on your message. Number two is be benefits based. Number three, start your phrase with an action oriented word. Sell more with stories. It's an action, selling. Speak to increase influence and impact. Use speaking to increase your influence. Number three, include action oriented words to increase the memorability of your foundational phrase. Number four is be rhythmic. There are several components to this. Number one, use as many one and two syllable words as possible. They're easier to remember. Use alliteration. Sell more with stories. There are three S's in that. Speak to increase your influence and impact. There are three I's. Alliteration rolls off the tongue and it's memorable. It creates a rhythm to the foundational phrase. The first version is not going to be good. It's getting the idea out of your head and at, onto a piece of paper or a spreadsheet. Begin to whittle it down. Get feedback. What's, what are people reacting to? What isn't resonating? Start with that and keep working further and further down. As an example, my book and speech entitled Sell More With Stories was originally titled Create, Develop, and Deliver Speeches and Stories in Such a Way That People Want to Buy More of Your Product, Service, or Idea. Most of those words do not show up in the final version. However, it was a starting point. I knew what I wanted to say, just didn't know how to say it effectively. I tested it. I got feedback. I made adjustments and I kept working it until we got down to those four final words, sell more with stories. It's been very effective to get feedback and get people to take action on using storytelling to sell more of their product, service, or idea. There you have it, your assignment. Go create the first version of your foundational phrase. Make sure it's brief, it's benefit-based, action-oriented, and it's written. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where you'll discover more insights on how to open your speech with high impact.